Hey everyone, Mike Sorg of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and of course with WWE Network leaving the U.S. and going exclusively to Peacock, not every fan is happy with what that means, at least as of the first week out without WWE Network. So I wanted to look at an alternative here for anybody that does miss their WWE Network experience and everything that goes with it. Of course, with Peacock, if you're going to be able to watch WrestleMania. I definitely recommend going on there. Go to the source when it comes to that uh, as far as watching your live streams and everything like that. That is going to be the place to be, and I don't think you're going to have a problem with it. But uh, when we look at the, the catalog, the organization is all wonky on Peacock. It is not a good experience for WWE fans. But the WWE, of course, the network, we love the old Mogi Mountain wrestling wcw saturday nights the wrestling challenge you know and all those great coliseum videos we don't even have the entirety of pay-per-views and we had when wwe network launched some six seven years ago we had every wwe every wcw and every ecw pay-per-view included on those and we don't have nearly that on peacock right now really not delivering as i would think when it comes to the w network the bare essentials even 205 live isn't even on peacock from this last week's episode you literally cannot watch last week's episode 205 live in the states as of this recording on early april of course, in the States, the WWE Network app is just going to tell you to go to Peacock. Same with the website. If you go to network.wwe.com, that's the only way to do it in the States. But remember, the WWE Network still exists in the other countries where they did before. Nothing has changed for anybody else. And it's that same interface that we've enjoyed for the last several years here uh, since the most recent relaunch with WWE Network. So here's how you can get that interface. First thing you're going to do is get something called a VPN. For the purposes of this demonstration, we use ExpressVPN. You're going to have to pay a little bit of money for this. We paid about $13 for a month subscription to try this out. But of course, you want to do this for the long haul. You can get it down to like $8 and change for your purposes here. So we signed up for ExpressVPN. We installed it on our computer, in our case, a Mac. And of course, you can also do this on an iPhone and install the app there. So set up your ExpressVPN, make sure all the settings are there. You give it all the permissions in the operating system that you're using. I recommend starting this, of course, on a, on a laptop or desktop computer, Mac or PC, uh, and not your mobile device to begin with. We selected a location in the United Kingdom that seemed to work just fine for our purposes. First thing you're going to need to do is go into the settings and clear all cookies. If you don't clear the cookies, it's going to know your recent IP address and that you belong, let's say, in the United States. And it's still going to push you no matter what you go through. You may see a foreign website, but when you click that WWE Network subscribe button, it's going to still try to push you to Peacock to continue your subscription there. Now, after you've cleared your cookies, go to watch.wwe.com and we go through the new account sign up process. I would recommend using an email address that's different than what you use in the United States. If you have that available to you, maybe make a new Gmail, whatever the case may be. I will disclaim while this is not illegal, this is potentially against the terms of services for WWE Network and you could get deactivated for doing this if they detect that you have a VPN. I also disclaim that not every VPN will work. This one did. Some VPNs they may be able to detect and you may not be able to get this far. Our purpose is we use PayPal because we figured that was the most universally accepted. We didn't know if there'd be any problems with using an American uh, debit card or anything of the sort. We even signed up using our American address and just said we were in the United Kingdom in the in the drop down and it worked. And of course we go through this and as you can see that 205 Live we talked about before, which as of this this writing, you still can't watch on Peacock the one from this past Friday on this Monday afterwards. But on the phone, for us, an iPhone, if you install the ExpressVPN app, it actually integrates very well with the iPhone. You simply need to go to the app after you set things up and allow the permissions on your iOS device. And then you go to the ExpressVPN app, turn it on, set for that you know same time zone that we talked about before, say in the United Kingdom, and then go to your WWE app, which if you open it before, again, was talking about Peacock and really didn't give you too much. It now, again, the app will now have all of that WWE content that you are familiar with. It's super seamless. It's the easiest thing to do. Uh, 
I, I, I haven't played with anything like using an Apple TV, but if you have something like a Chromecast or that you can cast to on like some of the TVs and Rokus, I think will do that, then that's a nice, easy way for you to bring something up on the app and send to a device that you can watch full screen. So um, some easy ways, hopefully there's some patchwork on this. I'm not gonna say it's gonna work forever. There could be something with everybody doing this now that they may um, patch this and, and uh, it may not work with the site because certain things will not work. Um, add a tip, try Netflix around the world because you'll be surprised what they have on some of those. You have all the pay-per-views, you have all the um, classic content and you have everything that you wanted before. Uh, I will note, we were just kind of curious uh, in a comparison note, uh, things like the controversial Bad News Brown Rowdy Roddy Piper match that was uh, removed from Peacock and made a lot of news over the last couple of weeks. And that is actually removed from the United Kingdom version of the WWE Network. Our guess is that they probably did a cleansing of that match when it became a big deal, or this might have been a known thing that we just noticed as things came on Peacock and it became news. Can't tell you the history of it, but know that some of those things like that are being reflected, probably because it was such a high profile match. I would still recommend if you're watching your live pay-per-views, whether the NXT takeovers, WrestleMania, Royal Rumbles, whatever's coming up in the last couple months, next couple, whatever's coming up in the next couple of months to please absolutely still do Peacock. Um, that, of course, is going to be free with everybody with a Comcast subscription and a few other cable providers. You can check that and pretty much get WrestleMania for free with your cable service without even putting any money into it. Otherwise, it's as cheap as $5 for WrestleMania. That's not too damn bad. I'm hoping, as WWE is promising, that the Peacock edition of WWE Network is going to be on par with WWE Network now in content by SummerSlam. I'm not going to hold my breath personally, but I recommend this as sort of a Band-Aid in the meantime so you can still check out all the stuff that you like. If you like to go through old ECWs, there's barely any of that on Peacock at this point, and we don't know what form they're going to take when they start rolling out um, with uh, with everything that's going on there. So hopefully that's helpful for you. If you have any questions about this, please hit us up in the comments or hit us up on uh, social media at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show on all your podcast places and join us for our live shows Mondays and Tuesdays on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube pages. Thanks a lot. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.